1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 10 to 12 But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man, but the Spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Tamar, Braha, Kwadashka. All praises to Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai, which is his Son's only Hebrew name, the Wada Yahweh, for putting your Holy Spirit on me to do another lesson to edify the church in these last days. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect that push in the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and in sincerity. Now I was going through some movie trailers the other day and came across this movie trailer Gringo. It's supposed to come out this year. Uh, they don't have the star of the, this movie which is a Jake name on this um, title here but there's a lot of information Esau is going to put out there subtle and brazen so they're going to water down this information and it's coded but hopefully this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai this is 2nd Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so in the 1st Corinthians chapter 2 the most I reveal this thing to us that's why we're not ignorant so that Esau, the so-called white race, who is biblically referred to as Satan or the devil, as his title, as his mannerisms, his behavior, won't take advantage of us. We're not ignorant of, the, of his methods, all right? So I'm going to play this clip, and then I'm going to break it down to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shai. down dictators, if I can find a guy in middle management. What do they want? They want five million. What? Pesos? Dollars! What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. I need to keep track of you. I don't like needles! Give me a you can't scare me with tales of the big bad cartels. I don't know how things work. Not in Mexico. Harold. 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 You really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? I guess I kind of do, but not. Ah! <laughs> Things are going to start to get better for you. Trust me, I have good instincts. And all of this is spiritual that I just played. All this is spiritual because, you know, Yahweh has revealed this to us. So let's go to the uh, scriptures. This is Revelations chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All, young and old, rich and poor men in jail men out to jail to receive a mark in their right hand and in their four heads so if you see in this clip he jake received the rfid chip in his right hand the guy was fully prepared and uh this jake name is uh david o yellow he's a so-called british nigerian and uh, you know the rfid inventor carl sanders states that you know the rfid chip is suitable for the hand and the forehead whereby the body emits temperatures suitable to the, the lithium battery within. Do another lesson on that through the spirit Shai. But he's using this chip, this chip as a means to track Jake. Now this information is going to be boldly in place, in, in place of people so that people get ideas and suggestions. For example, um, people inject their children in case they get kidnapped and so forth. But there's an also another um, hidden message why the movie is named Gringo, right? Memory calls all both small and great. Gringo noun from the etymonline.com, which is the etymology dictionary, a term for a European Anglo American in 1847 from Spanish gringo, foreigner. So they're going to cause all, whether people in America or people out of America. The Dicenario Castello 1787 says gringo was used in Malaga for anyone who speaks Spanish badly and in Madrid for Irish, hence the American Spanish verb in gringars to act like a foreigner. So basically Israel is acting like a foreigner in Islam because acting like a Gentile, that's what Gentile means in this land because it's not where we came from. We were birthed in this land but our ancestral leads all the way back of Middle East in Israel. 
another thing too is that if you notice that there was a part of the clip that they said Harold 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 I'll play back again in a few it's pretty let me to, to look this up a bit Harold the proper name Old Norse Haralder Old Danish Old Sweden Harald from Proto-German Haraja what Waldas army commander so it was an old army commander sent to track Jake I've tracked down dictators if I can find a guy in middle management what do they want? They want See, Jake is on the run. So when Israel is on the run, they're going to track us down, and what are going to do? What? Pesos? Dollars? What is that? And they're going to they're going to done away with the dollar dollar bill. Let's bring us back a little bit. What? Pesos? Dollars? What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. And he's ready to inject Jake. Ready to inject Jake. So he was an old army commander that has access to this type of technology. This um. These wicked devices and if you go into this word mark it is um, strong's g5480 charagma and the outline biblical usage is a stamp or imprinted mark of the stamped on the forehead or right hand as a badge of the followers of the antichrist a mark branded upon horses thing carved sculpture graven work of idolatrous image so you this is idolatry if you take this chip all right it goes on to say Haragma of the same G5482, a scratch or etching stamp as a badge of servitude, become a slave, a servant, right? Or a sculpted figure, statue, graven mark. All right, let's go down a bit more in Revelation 13, verse 17. That no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is already going on in Sweden, Canada, India, Australia, etc verse 18 of revelations 13 here is the wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six so if you go into this strong so 603 scores and six for there's a strong entry for that it's um high shy sigma somewhere along the line we're going to go to the strong's definition because this is just uh based on the number they got it as key she stigma the 22nd and 14th and obsolete letter as a cross of the Greek alphabet and so forth and so forth showing the number right and if you go to stigma which is G4742 stigma and you go to the outline biblical usage a mark pricked or a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage slaves or soldiers Harald army commander bore the name of the name or the stamp of the master or commander branded or prick this inventor Carl Sanders reveal you know his own tongue fall upon his own mouth if he's a it looks like he died reveal that there are already army officials with this microchip already with hidden data so what they're trying to do is right get the officials sealed in so that they can't escape their mind control because this chip can send out radio signals frequencies whatever you want to call it to control and make this person do whatever they want and they are indebted to this um to this system to the service whether they like it or not a master or commander branded or pricked into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods so if you take this chip you're making Esau your god and i pray how about shem yoshai that the spirit that his spirit is upon us to not take that chip us a sincere akim you know the brothers so i'm with the brothers of great millstone and so forth and all the other sincere akim what you know there stigma all right if you go to strong's definition stigma from the primary stizo to stick that is prick a mark incised or punched or recognition of ownership all right that is figuratively scar of service mark all right so you can't you can't escape this 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 is as plain as day it's as plain as day all right so let's just play this last party eh? need to keep tracking I don't like <laughs> so he wants to be the most side this is esau basically wants to be the most side he wants to keep track you can't scare me the tales of the big bad cartels i don't know how things work not in mexico so you see they brought the Harold army commander Ringo Ringo Gingo foreigners 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 <laughs> you 
so Jake is praying to Yahweh, you know, ignorantly, you know, and so forth. But you understand what I mean? Jake is praying to Yahweh, and this is what Esau is going to say. Really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? Esau is the type of person who don't believe in the Mosai. I guess I kind of do, but not. You see, he kind of does. He didn't finish his statement because Yahweh judged him. <laughs> And that's exactly how Esau's kingdom is going to be destroyed, you know? Things are going to start to get better for you. Alright, so just when Jake thinks things are going to get better, well, you know, the kingdom is for the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Amerindians, Native Americans, and Latinos, who are Yahweh's chosen people also the confusion of faces, alright? So this dragon is trying to woo jake you know so jake jake is going to be deceived by a lot of things in these last days got a precept me, after this i have good instincts this is first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape to write on cue when she was saying she got good instincts, you don't have good wisdom. You know, you have a shame, you have bust in and judge the world. And with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying. And of course, all praise to you, you have a shame, keep fighting, knock you. Double honesty, the apostles and elders of great no stone. Shalom.